Hi, welcome to Toy Break episode 98. I'm Aileen. I'm George. And Toy Break is your weekly internet show all about the wonderful world of toys, including designer vinyl, plush, action figures, collectibles, anything else you can think of, events, how-tos. We'll cover it. Well, as long as it's toys. Right? <laughs> sure. I, we keep you on for your colorful commentary. Yep. <laughs> So first, we'd like to start by thanking our sponsors like PanicsToyBox.com, FuzzyBallsApparel.com, BigBadToyStore.com, TenaciousToys.com, HappyPandaToys.com, PinkSkater.com, MiniCassetteTees.com, and 3DRetro.com. All fine sponsors and all people you should check out their wares by going to ToyBreak.com and clicking on the links on the left-hand side of the page. We should sprinkle these throughout the show instead of all in one clump. You think? Yeah, because that way people can't fast forward. <laughs> you never know when we're going to throw a happypandatoys.com like, at you. So as we're see? reviewing, we'll we're see. just like, let's, we'll try this it. is going on, it's going to big bad toy store. Exactly. That happens? Okay, let's see what happens. Uh, we would like to remind you, please, if you're enjoying the show and you feel like donating, we love that. It helps keep the show going. You can donate by going to toybreak.com. You can also do a little uh, give-take situation over at toybreak.com slash breakers. You can get there at the Breakers link on toybreak.com. And for ten for a $10 donation, you get a little square of advertising, and you can put anything you want. I believe it just says links. It'll say Breakers. Okay. <laughs> it's uh, it's magical. Magical. Way. And if you don't magical. want to sponsor in any way, but you want to see some cool links, yes, just go over to that little Breakers Click link. Click on people. And uh, click Check on those fine stuff. folks who are sponsoring the show, because that's pretty awesome. And see some of their cool creative links that they're putting up. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Go over Keep there and click on, on those people. All right, so we have very exciting things happening right now. <sighs> we do? We do. Would you like to take this one? Large Martin Big Red Contest winner. Oh, you're doing so good with your phonetics. <sighs> All right, let's get this freaking <laughs> game going. Win the Large Martin Big Red Edition courtesy of 3A Toys and 3DRetro.com. 20-inch tall figure, valued at $300. What, what? Someone is paying partial shipping if they win it overseas. Yes, please. I don't want to ship this thing. Hopefully no one wins. <laughs> you guys really did awesome on this you one. Did. The, you these did. These robots so awesome. were so I mean, freaking cool. We even got one? a robot out really? of it. We won. We win. Right We're there. winners. Everybody's winners. Corey Webb. Thank you, Corey. So we won, and now someone else will win. Are we tossing them up? Uh, I don't know what we're going to do. If you do that, does that make you a tosser? Let's. I'm going to toss this pile into the air, and you're going to catch the winner. Okay. Ready? I'm going to try. Set. No. Somebody win. I caught something. All right, hold on. Winner. Oh, it fell down, it fell down. It was that one, it's right that there. It's that one. Winner. Go ahead, say that. Okay. Insolveniac. 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 86. 86. Yay! Uh, yeah, this is one of the newcomers to the forum. Thanks for Welcome. Thanks for joining for the contest. Uh, we always... You don't have to be a member of the forum full-time to win. You hey, can just come in. It's an entry. Anybody can post, join. Post win the contest but you know what you guys kicked ass for making awesome robots insomniac Hello. you know what's cool about this contest this person better call and leave an, a message or send us an mp3 yeah. of how to say this please um, oh i thought just insomniac 86 uh pm little george on the forum with your address and i will send this please. out to you uh, don't say please if you don't want to do it don't do it and you don't get a robot well that's true but you know what's cool <laughs> is that everybody that participated that made a robot, they get their own robot that they made. Like, yeah, everybody's really a winner. They win. You know what you should do, everybody, is uh, trade your robots. <gasps> robot swap! Get a robot swap. It's like on. wife swap, but way cooler. If you guys are down with it and you want to do it, I'll I'll organize it so that you can... I'll pick your names from each other so that you can all have each other's robots. I don't know, unless you want to keep your own. You're all oh, winners. Oh, that person could have won. You're all winners. Don't say it. I'm it's not, not fair. It. We've already picked the winner. The winner has been picked. Speaking right. of picking winners. No, not uh, that. Is that what you call them? Winners? That's picking a winner. Winners? How about another contest that we're not really involved in, only in a way of talking about it and drawing the winner? We're helping. 
Well, we didn't make anything. We in didn't this. do anything. We're helping with the contest, though. We get the easy part, picking yeah, the number. The fun part. So this is for the Halloween morsel from Gary Ham. Very, very cool. One of a kind. Nobody else will have a morsel like yours. I'm guessing it's coming in a tube similar to this. Probably true. <laughs> Probably true. Orange and black. Awesome looking. So we are going to pick a winner out of all these Should, Do we have to read the numbers? Should we? I think we have to, right? Okay, let's let's do it. Uh, you may want to fast forward this if you're not involved in this. We'll make it... Okay, there's nobody stuck in here. We'll do this as quickly as possible. Ready? Wait, all these are going to start, start with... One eight five something. We want you to know that your raffle ticket is going in the bucket. One eight five zero five nine zero two eight zero one nine zero six eight zero two three zero five zero zero one two zero six nine zero five three zero three nine zero three eight zero one three zero six five zero five two. Zero four one zero two seven zero two four. Don't do that. <laughs> zero five eight zero three four zero zero nine zero two six. Why are you making this hard on me? I'm not making it hard. Zero one seven. I'm making it interesting for the people watching. Zero three two. <laughs> it's not interesting enough. Zero four zero zero two one zero zero five. Stop it. Yeah, it's just zero fun. zero seven zero one eight. Zero three zero. He's zero six seven. No, I'm not. <laughs> zero zero four. I was being positive. Zero three three. Zero one six. I guess I should have said the zero earlier. Zero three five. <laughs> zero zero eight. Zero three one. Zero three six. Zero two two. Zero two zero. Zero six two. Don't lose steam now. Zero two nine. Zero one one. Oh, you didn't put it. See, that's it my why. Fault. Zero one one. Zero two five. I'll just hold the bucket. Zero seven zero. Zero six six. Zero one zero. Zero one five. <laughs> zero six four. Zero five seven. Zero six three. I should have got these in order. Zero five one. <laughs> zero five four. Zero three seven. Zero five six. Six zero six one. Zero five five. Zero one four. See, that wasn't so bad. Oh god, that was like seventeen minutes of zeros. <laughs> I should have said zero in the beginning. Shake it up. Like a good martini. Make sure that you didn't drop any. I didn't drop any. There's just these things all over the place. Who's going to pick? Do we get to toss them? No. <laughs> then we're just reaching in because this one's long and we can do this. You're reaching in? I should be holding it if you're reaching in. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> this person is the winner. Who is it? Who is it? One eight five zero zero four. Woo! Congratulations, number four. There it was. Halloween morsel to you. And if you did we not win, there's no like name. We don't I know. Have to, like, hey, the guy hey, on the forum, four. Insomniac eighty six. We love what you did with the ticket and the the four. Hey, number four. Hey, number two. <laughs> so there you go. Thank you, Gary Ham, for allowing us to draw your winner. To and, pick uh, your winner. <laughs> <laughs> but in case you did not win, if you are not number four, you go to superham.com and check out Gary's stuff. And he just released the morsels. There you go. So Perfect time wanna, to go check it you out. get your own, there's there's where you do it. So, awesome. How about some news? Let's do it. <laughs> news. Toy Break episode 100 is right around the corner. Creeping up on us. We're at 98. We only got one more. It's exciting. Two, two, 98, 99, well, We're doing 98 and then one more and then that's 100. So two two more to get to 100. No, we're doing 98. No. But there's 99 then no. there's 100. Ow. 99 100. So if you have any comments, thoughts, or anything else you would like to share with us, we would love to hear it. Feel free to call in at the Toy Break voicemail at 818-AM-I-GOOD. We'd love to get a message or you could send us an MP3 or better yet, we I would we love... we wanted massages. No, me want, messages. Is it message or massage? You know, I'll take a massage. Message or massage? I will take messages or massages. I'm not sure how you get those to us, but uh, we would love videos. If anybody wants to send us a video, MP4, WMV, AVI, MOV, whatever you got, 
Uh, email it to us at info at toybreak.com. We don't have any, nobody sent it in a video There's yet. There's a million people on YouTube. At least three of them have to watch this show. Mm. Right? Three people. That at means, least three people watching have to have a camera with that, video yeah, That means at least three people have a camera. Like, just hold your camera and be like, hey guys, I love Toy Break, or hey, you guys ruin my week every week, but I keep watching. Point the camera awesome. at your balls and just say it. I don't care. Point the camera at your toy collection okay. and say, hey, Toy Break, congrats on 100. Here's my toy collection real quick. Balls and toys. Don't, no, leave the balls out. Toy bagging. What if it's a collection of your favorite toys with balls? There you go. Yosuke Yamamoto comes to mind. <laughs> His toy has Yosuke! balls. Yosuke! Yay! All right, let's go right. with this news thing we were talking let's about. Let's do it. Would you like to tell us about this? This Speaking of balls, <laughs> Micronauts relaunch, spotted on Toy News International. Thanks for the heads up, Dr. Kent. Hasbro recently announced <laughs> it will be relaunching the Micronauts series, originally created by Japanese company Takara in 1974. No more details were given, except that we can expect Hasbro to revise, reinvent, and reignite the brand. So it is exciting for fans old and new alike. Wow. So old people and new people will like it. J.J. Abrams also announced that he will be producing an upcoming Micronauts movie. What? That's crazy. So are they relaunching... This is not movie break. They're relaunching the Takara. They're not relaunching the Soda Toys. No. Micronauts. Soda Palisades. Palisades toys. Soda did not make <laughs> Soda. Ignore that. <laughs> um, so yes, it is uh, the Takara. Not a relaunch of the now, Palisades. Now, do you know what else Takara uh, originally created? Many things in Japan. Like? Don't put me on the spot Do like you that. guys know? It's Transformers! Oh yeah, I knew that. See, you did know that. The, um... Micronauts are stupid looking, so hopefully they'll get better. Possibly. They can't get any worse. They honestly can't make them worse. So we've only got so uphill to go. There you go. They're only going up. Awesome. As you can tell, I'm not a Micronauts fan, and a lot of people are mad at me right now. Superhero Squad Blind Packs. These are also by Hasbro. This is from CoolToyReview.com. Single blind packaged figures are coming soon of our favorite little uh, deformed superheroes. The first series includes Iron Man in the 1990s armor, Doctor Doom, Ultimate Iron Man, Wolverine, Spider-Man, web shooting, Hulk, Iron Man, Extremis armor, Thor, Doctor Octopus, Wolverine Unmasked, Hulk 2, Iron Man, Thor Buster, Spider-Man, Silver Surfer, Spider-Man, Web Blast, Spider-Man Twisting, Spider-Man Crawling, Spider-Man Ben Riley. So apparently you're going to get a Spider-Man if you buy that. Spider-Man line. So we don't have a price yet and it's coming out soon. It looks $1. like it's a little foil-like packs. And you get one one piece. I will pay one dollar. Now at the store, you get two for like six bucks, seven bucks. I so. will pay one dollar. Okay. So you're probably not going to get any. I won't get any. Okay. Why don't I just buy the ones off the shelf that I could tell which one I'm buying? I don't know. Unless they're completely different and completely cooler somehow. No, they're the same. No. I will just buy the ones that I can see. Okay. How about Scare Glow? I can see that. By in the Mattel. Dark. I can see in the dark. By Mattel and the Four Horsemen. And the Four Horsemen, of course. Don't forget that Master of the Universe Classics figure for November is Scare Glow. With his Scythe of Doom. It's $20 plus shipping, so it comes to about $30. $28. So it's kind of a ripoff. Like and it's available November 16th as yes. part of the Club Eternia membership. Or just go on and get it. Well, it's available November right 16th. That's when you need to jump on at 12 noon Eastern time to get it. Unless you're a member of Club Eternia, in which case it will just be shipped to you. Right. Conveniently. So, Up next, the awesome. Green Goddess in December. Awesome. How about some Designer Con exclusives? How about them? Several vendors are announcing exclusives for the upcoming Designer Con show. Designer Con, that sounds like a fun show. Sure. Uh, so, it's coming up in a couple weeks. People are starting to sh uh, announce exclusives. Uh, two of them we have for you right now. Crazy Labels 3-inch Snow Treason by Booby Ah Young. I really hope I said that right. If not, you at least said Booby. <laughs> which is limited to 600 pieces, 300 of which will be available at DesignerCon through 3D Retro, and 300 will be available on the Crazy Label site after the show. 
The next exclusive is going to be the Dead Edition of Amanda Vassell's Fat Cat Meow, limited to 100 pieces and available at DesignerCon from Dragatomi. Very cool. I also heard there was going to be an October Toys exclusive Gwyn at the show. There will be? Mm-hmm. So pictures, first... pictures to be announced soon. You're announcing the pictures? Pictures to be seen soon. <laughs> seen soon. You know what's awesome? Seen soon. Blind box time! Let's do it. Do you guys know what time it is? Blind box time! Today we have Dunny 2009 series. Because right. we haven't opened any. We have not. Well, which I is have. crazy. You have? What is with the mouth? Do you remember Dragon Con? I have a vivid. I'm, I'm <laughs> Go back and watch the Dragon Con recap, and you might see a blind box <laughs> opening. Oh. Of Dunny 2009. Oh, you know why? Because I was filming and I didn't get to open that is true. any of the Dunnies. So, so to me, it didn't happen. We know which one I want, and it's the Luke Chu one. Even though I already have one. I want... Da, 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 da. I still want another one. What's, who did that Target? That one's pretty awesome. Where's the Target? Let's do that one. What's with the teeth I music? opened it with my mouth. Mine feels fat. Mine feels yellow. You can't feel yellow. Well. <laughs> uh, okay. I don't know who this is. Oh, look. Mine is smoking. <laughs> it must be a Frank Kozik. <laughs> Who's is the, who is this? Uh, Do they have names? I don't know who good. this is. I got There's one no with a papers. bunch of crazy... Well, look, it's got this, though. This is a cute little thing. It's a little cutout of the... Instead of a card, it's a little cutout. Awesome. I have a cutout that won't stand on its own. I can't wait to not put this And it's not a somewhere. sticker. Like, it should be a cutout sticker. It would be really cool. What good is that going to do me? I don't know, but Are you going to tape it on your binder? Mine has craziness going down. Mine has filth going down. Yours does have filth. And he has a little Wait, look. Spatula. There's an extra one. Oh! Let's open this one. Look, he's got a little spatula. Blind box brought to you by 3dretro.com. Blind box is brought to you by 3dretro.com. See how you just oh. sprinkle it about? Yeah. Kiss the cook. I got Dabi. I'm not really impressed with the ones we got. This one's awesome. Look, he's got little bee, little bee ears. It's cute. And a little bee stinger. It's cute. And little bee wings. All I can think of when I see a And bee. it's someone who's smart enough to put their name on it so you know who it is. Look, Yo, this Amanda is Amanda com. The only thing I can think of when I see a bee stinger, my grandma was at... Did you guys go roller skating? With your grandma? I don't think they did. <laughs> With my grandma? <laughs> did you guys ever have like roller skating nights in elementary school? We would go to Dave's California Skate. There'd be like a skating night like once a month and it was Halloween and my grandma dressed up as a bee and she fell right on her stinger. Hilarious. Only I think I could think of is the is the bee, like that guy who dresses up as the bee. He's like the Mexican guy. He's like, I yeah, I, I am the bee. What's that from? Like the Simpsons. Is it Simpsons or Silent Live or one of those things? Who are they making fun of? Like an actual character, right? Sure. I don't know. I'm not really. Or up you can on turn it around and it's just a black and white stripe from Striper from back in the day. Do you remember Striper? No. Seven seven seven. They were like the Jesus rock, like the Jesus like Motley Crew. Yeah, no. Striper. Anybody? No? Christian band? Why would you listen to that when you have Motley Crue? They rocked hard. They were just doing it for <laughs> they Jesus. They rocked hard. They were rocking hard for Jesus. Or were they rock hard for Jesus? I don't I think they were rocking hard for Jesus. Oh, okay. I, I, I okay, uh, these are good paint. It's. You didn't open his little accessories. Sort of a regular series of dunnies to me. That's what it is. But, like, sometimes there's a theme that really sticks out to me. Like, the L.A. series. I was like, wow, these are fun. Do you or, think it's because uh, you're in L.A. and you know those artists? It could be. You've seen Maybe. those artists at shows locally? Maybe. But there was another series recently, and I was like, oh, this is a great series. But this one's just kind of, eh, it's good. I think but it's you know time what? to get some good. new blood in there. Not <clears throat> that these are bad artists. It's just throw some Throw some people in the mix? Yeah. Get some new people out there who haven't been on a dunny 16 times. That would be a good idea. Maybe like fuzzyballsapparel.com? Now look how cute that is. Oh, you're right. The hat makes it cuter. 
Is he like an army chef? He's a kiss the cook. I think he's an army chef. He's got crap all over him, and he's got a little spatula, and he's sweating, and he's smoking into your potatoes. Let's do some reviews. All right. Reviews. Reviews. Up first for review. Review. Boris. Sans Natasha. Uh, that's a different Boris, I think. Oh, believe. different Boris. That's so, a cool box. This is by Nathan Hamill and You Won Toy Arts. It's two and a half. It's a two and a half inch tall vinyl figure, limited to one thousand pieces. I know you can get it out for about eighteen dollars over at 3DRetro.com, and you can check out the artist site NathanHamill.blogspot.com. And let's check out the figure. That's a fun little box. It's cute. it's like it's him. It's he, he's all squared up. He's squared up. Look, he's all squared up. He is. That's cute. It's it makes boss. me not want to throw it away, even though I'm going to, because it's a box. Look at that. I know, it's kind that of cute. Is, that could have been... That is a lot of packaging. That could have been cut in half. That is a deep package. Someone didn't know that they are allowed to tell China to change things. Well, it's a learning ah. process. How is he? Is he boris -y? Ow, he's really freaking sharp. Are you okay? Yeah, I think I cut myself on his freaking ear. Look at that. Are you bleeding? Let me see. Be careful when you're trying to turn his head. He's sharp as all get out. These toys are not intended for children. He's articulated. At and the head and tail. I believe Two you. Points. I'm not going to turn the tail or I will break it. Didn't you just turn it? Uh, no. No. Oh. Is that another? Okay. It's, it's there. It's just the, the head. Let's just go with that. Look at his little feet. Oh, that's cool. I want to see. I think they're plug-ins. Count to me. I think his little feet are plugged in. That's crazy. So they're softer. What? Yeah. No. I think they are. No. The whole thing is soft. Is it? Yeah. You just gotta press harder. Okay. That's cool. So... How much is this kinda thing? Kinda soft. It's about $18. It's this big. Eat it. You could eat it. He's cute. I like his little arms. Are like, yeah, yeah. Tyrannosaur. I, I like. I love the colors. Yeah. Um, I like the way the face is sculpted. With the eyes, are sculpted into it. I like the sculpting on this a lot. I like the. I Kinda like that chunky. all of his little. He has little like hair and stuff, and it's actually sculpted detail into it. Mm -hmm. It's not like one of those. It's not a vinyl that's trying to be, like a, a blank at some point in its life. It's like this is what it is. It's it not trying boys. to be, yeah, it's not trying to be ear. a blank. It's pretty sharp. It's a pretty sharp ear. That is freaking sharp. It's pretty sharp. You know what was really funny? What? And awesome? What? Um, Nathan, for Halloween, dressed up as Boris. That's uh, a good costume, if it's your <laughs> guy. That was awesome. Way to go, Nathan. It's weird. His it's tail, advertising and costume. His tail is a different color purple than his body. Oh, yeah. I wonder if that's supposed to be like that. Well, probably because it's made out of a different material, maybe. Yeah, I like the paint. I, I mean, I like the uh, I like the style. I like the sculpting of it. I think it's a really cool job. Kind of flatter. I wish it were bigger. Smooth. How big? I don't know. I like it. I like the size of it, but for eighteen dollars, I wish it were bigger. Do you have to be like six inches? If it were like you know, yeah, for eighteen dollars, it should have been like maybe double Four inches. the size. Five inches. But I do like the sculpting on it a lot. Who's the sculptor? Do we know? The sculptor is David Kawano. Nice. David Kawano did a nice job on this. Good job, David Kawano. And the feet are plugged in. I was wrong. You're right. The little feet are plugged in. He's Because he's got a roto body, the tail and feet are plugged in, and the head is on top. And a nice, uh, inconspicuous, well, as much as it can be, the words on the bottom of the butt. You're, you're, you're I'm just checking his head joint. Yeah, copyright 2009, Nathan Hamill. You won Toy Toy arts, not on the ass, not oh, just, yeah. right where it should be on the bottom. Cute. I like it. Super cute on the shelf. I like the way he's kind of looking back at you, kind of sneaky like a raccoon should be. He's so cute. I love him. Next up, we have baby keys. Your favorite thing ever. <sighs> there you go. Those are for you. So these are by Toy Two R, obviously because they're keys. Uh, these are two packs. Limited. These are one, two, very good. No, two packs. I can count. Um, they are limited to 1,200 sets each. We have here the 
Chinese boy and girl wedding set. And George has... And the Circus Key series. Joker and Ghost from the Circus Series collection. Joker and Ghost. You know what? If you're going to do a circus thing, you just need to hire... Jim, Jim Cook. Cook. Because his circus stuff is rad. True. This is all uh, you to review because I'm going to say nothing but bad things. Say what you want. I love key, as you can see. All these things back here. Are you making poetry? I'm making poetry. These are all key. These go up. There's two you can see right here. One or two shelves. It goes up like 25 shelves tall. <laughs> I can't count how many shelves it goes up. A lot. There's a lot of key behind us. We are big fans of key. You are big fans of these. I like them. I, mean, I think they're like baby them. key are stupid. Why? I hate them. Why? You just don't like the design? The shape is so bad. They remind me of like My Little Pony, like the baby My Little Ponies. Or they're like, I don't know. Garbage is what they are. Um, which one of these do you like the best and which one do you like the least? The ghost. I don't like clowns. Okay, good. Not really into the clown situation. So cute, uh, not terribly too much paint. Like the girl is cast in red, which is nice. So you don't have a lot of overlay there. Although that meant that they had to paint the yellow on, hardest color to paint. Uh, cute. They're, uh, there's not much to say. I mean, sorry. <laughs> they're they're baby keys, but painted to look this like other stuff. This would be an awesome baby key. Whoa. I would I would love this baby key like That's this. That's scary. I like this one. Put a giant baby head key on a regular key body. I, these bodies are awful. They're cute. They're like little t stuffed teddy bears. Like little hard teddy bear bodies. No. I like this one. I like black and white toys. Um, it's got the little button eyes. I kind of wish they would glow in the dark. Or I wish this one at least would glow in the dark. But, you know. So these are coming out very soon. Uh, check your local retailers. They can get them from Apex Trading. They're the distributors. What's going on? I'm making this happen. Okay. While that's happening, oh, there's also a third set of Baby Keys the Camo Color Series that you can check out. <laughs> now Look that how happy you are. is a good Baby Key. So if you're like me and you don't like Baby Key, you could take your the guy that comes inside the egg with the little square head, mm -hmm. you could shove the square head into the hole of the Baby Key, and you've got yourself a little Baby Key head. You know what I know you can get behind? Throwing this body into the garbage? No twist ties. That is a nice thing. This is, Pull look at up. how obscene it is if you look at this from the bottom. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Uh, so it has a little sculpted sort of a butt. But there's a little hole. And a butthole. As with, well, it's vinyl, so it needs a little hole. It doesn't have to be in the and, butthole? Uh, it's, it's a butthole. Butthole. <laughs> okay. Next. Let's talk about... By the way, I still love Key, just not Baby Key. Um, I still like Baby Key. <laughs> these are the SD Glios figures. Um, these were sculpted by... Um, I'm guessing it's Brian Phelps, not Brain Phelps, even though... I think he legally had his name, cha name changed to Brain. Even though it says Brain Phelps, um, I could be wrong. It's Tattoo Artist on the, for on the uh, Toy Break Forum. Mm -hmm. And these were cast by uh, Marty Hansen, who is known as uh, the God Beast. Would you like to hold oh, these? Oh, I will hold... One or two of these? I'll hold these two. Alright, I'll open this one while we're talking about it. Um, the packaging was done, this is card design, was done by Nathan Newell, with a special thanks to White Leo for the Japanese text. Aha. Uh -huh. Now, these are based on characters created by Onel Designs. Yes. Um, and then, using those characters, the sculptor made them into kind of the SD style, the super deformed style. Okay. And made little, little dudes. Um, but he made a lot of them, right? I believe there was a few sets. Like 20 sets or something? Or right, I, can't I don't remember. remember how many sets. And they were shoved into these little tiny bags. Um, 
So unpainted resin. Unpainted. Unpainted resin with someone who uses a mold release. Oh, mold release just makes for yuck. And that's... Well, unless you clean it and paint it and, you know, do it properly. But they do have... No they do have the joints from the normal Glyos figures. So if you wanted to put little Glyos... But it looks like a dunny body. It's kind very of. it's very similar. Probably sculpted on top of one, but it's very similar to that. The hands are, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. Look at those. Those are dunny hands. But no, look how big. They're bigger. Yeah. Um Wow, this casting is awful. Um there's giant seam lines and like big air bubbles. I do you see some air bubbles? But you can change the heads and all and swap around the bodies. Do you have no openings? Um, no, you can leave them shut for now. Okay. I really like the sculpting on these. I think it's really cute and fun. I'm not really entirely sure. Maybe, uh... Are these characters in a story? They're the Glass characters. No, no, but, like, is there a story? Because this one spilled an ice cream cone. This one's holding a shrimp or a prawn. A prawn. And this one's pooping. I don't know why they're pooping. Um, they're just supposed to be cute little things on the front. I think you're kind of just supposed to throw the package away, like I always tell people. Okay. Um. How much? It was $100 for all three. So it was a little expensive. Jinkies. For a tiny casting. Um. That's. But when it comes to the work put into it, you can understand, like, where it all comes in. Outrageous. For an uncleaned up casting. Yeah, these castings should have been... No, I'm sorry. I fully support people doing their own castings. Sell your stuff. Um, maybe sell your own characters, not somebody else's. Whatever. You're going to sell your casting for $33.33.5. And and Plus shipping. 33.3 .3 cents. Plus shipping. And you didn't fill the air hole. You didn't fill the holes. You didn't really clean up the casting. And you could. there's mold release on it? Look at the like registration on that. It's awful on that mold cast. Ooh, that's not a good mold. No. Maybe a good mold, but bad cutting open. Something. Bad demolding. You know what? I don't know. If I you like can sell the, your stuff. Go for it. I like it. the way the characters look. I think they're cute. Um, hopefully, they got permission from the creator of the characters. I do hope so. Uh, which is onelldesign.com if you'd like to see that. Yes. For the actual glass characters. For the actual glass characters. Um, if you'd like to see if these are still available, go to the um, onelldesign.com and click on the forum link. Yes. You can find it in there. Yes, you can do all of that. Uh, do you want to show people what you just got? Sure. Uh, Halloween is over. Aww. So Target is now having a sale on all of their stuff. So if you waited like I did because you thought the prices were stupid, you can now get some of these, uh, what are these things called again? Skull animals? Which There's are a pirate owl and a pumpkin, and a pumpkin monkey. monkey. Pumpkin. 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 Monkey. And also, uh, we didn't get these at Target, but we got these Halloween Pez that we forgot to show you on the live show last time. Um, glow in the dark, crazy bat, and a glow in the dark, cool jack o' lantern. Yeah, you don't need oh, to do any of that. Off. You just need to. It was left on. Oh. That's it. That's all it does. One little hit. <laughs> I wanted to punch it. Look at how awesome this bat sculpt is on this. That is actually pretty cool. The uh, the pumpkin's awesome too. The pumpkin's only okay. The bat is way better. Uh, these are actually... Weren't you saying these were made by Jax now? Yeah. Jax specific. That's crazy. Crazy. <laughs> They're pretty cute. But definitely worth checking out for on sale. I like that part. Oh, and guess what else? This We're not doing anything with this, but I want to uh, alert everyone in case you were wondering. Look what we have! In case you can't tell what it is, it's the 2009 LEGO City <laughs> set because it was backwards. <laughs> it was, I was building anticipation. This is the advent calendar for Lego. So like we did last year, follow us on uh, YouTube, youtube.com slash toy break. And we will be opening the Lego advent calendar every day in December. That would have been a good thing to keep for the wrap up when we did the talk about the YouTube. We'll do it again. Okay.
It's fine. Let's go on to events. Let's do it. Events. Happenings. Let's do it. Stuff to do. How about designer con? The one and only awesome event ever happening Forward in the world. BTN. I don't know why we have to say that every time. Is this like, You don't have to. After like this year we never have to you, say that again, right? True. Because now you it's can designer choose con. what you say out of your mouth. Designer Con is a pop culture show featuring designer toys, artists, apparel, and special events like live painting and Dr. Sketchies at the Pasadena Convention Center in Pasadena, California on November twenty first from ten AM to five PM. Five dollar admission, designercon.com for more information. That's very good. There will also be a live toy break throughout the day. There will be live toy break. From 10 a.m.-ish so to many, 5 p.m.-ish. So much stuff going on. True. So much stuff. Uh, so that's pretty much it for episode 98. Don't forget to take 20% off your purchases at happypandatoys.com, funkrush.com, and octobertoys.com by using the coupon code TOYBREAK, all one word, money in your pocket. Very important at the holiday season. You can also visit our website, toybreak.com, for show notes from this episode and past episodes. You can watch any of the past episodes in the archive. You can uh, join contests in the forum. You can stay tuned next week for a new contest. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Look, it's our third host for the week. <laughs> oh, hey, Ben. How's oh, it going? I'm a pumpkin head. Ben Benkin. The Dumpkin. <laughs> Call us and leave us a voicemail, 818-AM-I-GOOD. Email us, info at toybreak.com. Send us a voicemail. Um, for the 100th episode. For the 100th episode. Send us a video showing your toy collection. Yes, please. That would be cool. Just a quick little, like... You can even quick. make that noise. Quick. Under a minute. Yeah. Preferable. That's your challenge. You know what? Let's make it a challenge. Let's do a challenge on another day. Challenge. You know what? No. The challenge is going to be uh, for a contest at some point. Ooh. That's what no we're challenge. doing. Challenge just, withdrawn. Just uh, <laughs> send us a message with your, your beautiful face or some nice cleavage. Whatever you want to or show. Or toys. Or toy cleavage. Check out our briefs at youtube.com slash toy break. We'll be doing the advent calendar. And now. What? Say it. Here's your toy break? Uh, can't reach it.